So it's been a while since I've shown off a big project from Moonshot Labs, like kind of what the stuff that we work on sometimes internally. And then so this is one that I want to showcase for you specifically. I didn't create this particular notebook, so I can't share this particular notebook for you with you. I will share uh, this no notebook, the chaos theory based compression. So in this notebook, I'm just taking the compression algorithm itself and then just showcasing that um, big kind of like the bottom line discussion within this for me, I, I have a few things off the top, like uh, one, like I research into these areas, one as a hobby, and then two, because of it, like, I view it as the only way to move AI forward from this point. If you understand the like, mechanics of it, the physics of it, etc. There's certain parts of the physics of AI that don't fully line up. And there's certain parts of the physics of everything that don't fully line up, right? Whether it's uh, AI, uh, outer space, the Big Bang Theory, uh, lots of different stuff. Like like there's uh, the, the Hubble tension, there's um, uh, uh, the Large Hedron Hadron Colliders, lots of different areas where it's... Um, there's uh, variables that don't quite add up within the equation, right? Which to me, the bottom line with that and that is like what a lot of people don't want to admit is very straightforward that our understanding of physics is not right. <laughs> like uh, that's the simple bottom line of it to me. And then to me, when it comes down to understanding physics better, I think like, and I agree with most like quantum physicists that it's uh, a simplistic problem that there's it, it can be narrowed down to something simple that we're missing overall and that it's not magic right uh, so within that framework I operate and I do lots of like crazy different experiments right like I'll create I'll, I'll like model um, space as a fluid dynamic and that works out really well <laughs> works out better than our current um, physics regarding space right like uh, and then that develops you get a lot of of algorithms that that come out of that uh, other thing that I'll do is I'll model like um, time space as kind of a multi-dimensional variable uh, and then I'll model them in different ways right and then doing that like to me the best calculation that I've found is to model time space as a multi-dimensional variable uh, and then you're able to do a lot of stuff with it within that overall though what I want to say 100% is again like pointing out to number one within this all of this is a hobby for me right Right? Like this is uh, hobby research. And then so within that, like uh, you will never find my name on a like scientific breakthrough of like this magnitude, right? Like of like uh, trying to come up with like um, theories of everything, et cetera. Like uh, it's just not my over, like I don't want to ever like uh, propose for like a theory of everything. That would be like the worst case scenario for me on the planet, honestly, right? Like it's like, here's my like, uh, documented, like, I want to, like, start pitching this to the world. No, I, that's the last thing that I would ever want to do, right? Uh, and then I just, like, I like to play around with these things, and then I like to experiment with the models utilizing these things. And then so uh, within, like, this particular notebook here, so this chaos prediction unlocked, we're going to go through a lot of different things. And then what's the real world example and the real world use case of that? Well, I'm going to show you the chaos theory based compression that comes out of that, right? Um, and then so just starting off again, I'm not the author at all of this particular notebook. If you're interested in like, uh, I, like Riemannian zeros, uh, Lorenz attractors, all of that, like I'll, I'll, the huge per percentage of this work is Ash, Ash Kelly, like a million percent. Um, and then like all of this that we're looking at here, this is 100% Ash Kelly. Um, and then so um, this is uh, Breathing Lorenz Attractor, a self-regulating chaotic system with emergent predictability. Uh, and then so he just starts off giving a background for the Lorenz system and Lawrence, how Lorenz Attractors work. Um, and then in this instance, he creates like, um, starts off like creating like Lawrence full, like uh, Lawrence based manifolds. Um, and then like um, creating like, so really interesting <laughs> uh, diagrams that come out of here, right? He essentially creates a, um, a unique equation that comes out of this. And then uh, like looking through this equation, it's again, modeling the universe in a fluid dynamic way, which is why I point that out, right? And I, and I, and I like, um, it works within my models. <laughs> and that's all that matters to me. I don't care to propose it as a theory whatsoever. When I model it mathematically, it solves a lot of problems that people have when it comes to these things. And then looking at this particular notebook, it also solves it for Ash Kelly as well. And then so uh, here we go. Here's uh, 
uh, his uh, notebook created all these things and then you can see he creates essentially this equation that gets like it, it's uh, creating like a um, equation based off of like a, a mirror of a universe is what it, it, it is right and that's kind of what it's doing so like kind of like like k for this neighbors is how i pictured in my mind but for the universe so like taking it like a step further than i ever would into this very cool concept right um and then so that's kind of what he gets out of here um and then he's utilizing like a lot of mathematical concepts behind that um and then the next one that he gets from that is understanding and predicting full dynamics in the Lorentz attractor so he wants to kind of understand and predict within this uh this mirror space right so like here's kind of the the uh space modeled in a again a fluid dynamic ma manner right where it's like uh, fluid waves and then you he's predicting those waves within the here with um very good accuracy <laughs> and then so you can see uh he's training a, a model on on this and then it's, it's kind of um generating it and and how chat gpt outlines this is kind of like a heartbeat uh, you know it's kind of measuring that so so very cool um and then he does that to predicting brain waves so taking this same concept and then utilizing it for eegs uh and then we've had a lot of uh experiment and practice like all around within like uh, i think every single member of moonshot labs at this point with like uh measuring and predicting like these types of things like uh ekgs eegs brain scans um protein folding like a lot of things with in that like um and as people do ask me and and i do get um a lot of a lot of people reach out to me because of these models in those areas uh and then i mean the again to me going back to number one right this is a hobby for me overall and and i'm an engineer not a doctor <laughs> and i think like i mean, most i think everyone that is working on this would agree with that overall right like we're all engineers like uh not doctors overall and 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 then so it's amazing to me that people are taking on and and looking into this research in regards towards those areas uh i like uh i i'm responsible and and i'm presenting to you uh engineering these models but like it, it, in terms of like um what it means and, and and moving that forward i expect that other people will right that's a there's a reason why we open source uh, like uh, all of these things and a lot of these things is is for that reason right like if it it resonates with you uh and you are like uh more of a doctor than an engineer then like feel free to take this kind of stuff forward right um and then if you're interested in these eg models ekg models etc feel free like ash kelly is the the biggest contributor within them just pointing that out um and then so again lots of prediction steps within this like uh, you're seeing you're seeing like um unique models with regards towards ekg and eeg predictions right is essentially like what we're looking at um very specifically here um and then he goes on to create the full based chaotic prediction method so out of this he creates like a full uh mathematical modeling for everything here right so um and, and then it's uh, get, like incorporating numerous parts of chaos theory and uh, numerous mathematical models <laughs> like i mean internal like we do enough research internally to to like create map out these papers etc but it's like it's not our like uh, we're just again going back to number one right at the point where you make it more of a job i i feel like none of us are kind of like wanting to do it right it's all pure hobby doing it proving it to ourselves and just doing it out overall right that's kind of the biggest benefit that i think all of us get out of this um and then so but you can see here here's the model right and then here's um exactly what what it's doing and then so uh again i like uh, uh this isn't my particular area of expertise with regards towards like the medical field and medicine overall but i know that a lot of people do reach out to me for these models for that reason so um this is showcasing you essentially uh chaos in spectral space and he's mapping it out all via chaos theory right and then just showcasing out and and, and demonstrating that here's all of all of his math behind it uh everything there um so i mean you you're looking at essentially like a research paper within in and of itself right and then here's kind of the the where he goes and then actually does the reconstruction uh and you can see like uh means like like it, it zero like uh crazy like like um uh, um perfect similarity in in um a lot of these instances right it's like uh just in like the the first instance here where it's like the the crazy um variants but then um and overall like 
cool notebook to work with and and to uh, showcase overall like I, I could keep going with this one but again I don't I didn't author this this particular notebook and I, I like uh, I'm sure that Ash wouldn't have a problem with me sharing that particular notebook overall but what I will share for you instead of that notebook um, is this notebook here uh, again created by Ash Kelly uh, and then this is the chaos codex so time series compression using predictive modeling and then so this notebook implements and evaluates a custom lossy compression algorithm so this is lossy, right? It's going to be like uh, 99.9999999, like all nines across the board. Uh, but it's like like that 0.01% loss uh, termed chaos codec designed specifically for a chaotic time series data. It uses the logistic map as a re representative chaotic signal and it leverages predictive modeling techniques to achieve compression. The performance, both compression ratio and reconstruction accuracy is compared against standard lossless compression algorithms. As to the methodology, it's all of that same methodology that we're utilizing and that same, like all of that math and that complex mathematical breakdown with regards towards essentially like uh, some assumptions and some very broad assumptions with regards towards chaos theory that I showcased in that last notebook is within the methodology here. Um, you can read through it all, right? It's all of the complex methodology. But so essentially the notebook, this notebook aims to explore the feasibility of using chained predictive models to tailored to the dynamics of a chaotic system as a form of lossy compression. It quantifies the trade-off between the compression ratio achieved by this custom chaos codec and the resulting reconstruction error, comparing its efficiency to standard general purpose lossless compression tools. And the biggest thing that I'll note within this, again, you can look through all of the code, exactly what it does. It's a lot of math within the code, right? But the big thing to point out within that is that it's utilizing a daisy-chained models uh, in order to like correct these predictions, right? So then what you're doing and, and kind of how I look at it and this is an important concept to understand with these models right is that like uh, so a model will predict and it will make a prediction that is either true, accurate or not, true or false, right? And then you can measure uh, what like what side of the scale that that prediction falls on, like. And then so if you if you can measure that specifically, like, it, does this prediction fall more true or more false? Then you can either keep the prediction or throw out the prediction based off of that. And then you can utilize that to daisy chain models. And then coincidentally enough, just how it works out is if you just keep the predictions that are more accurate than less accurate, and then you keep training models on that, eventually they get more accurate overall just by training it on daisy chain predictions, right? Um, and that's a concept that we see within here and, and, and part of this math. Um, and then essentially what this notebook does is, so like the the um, kind of like the impossible compression challenge that was uh, brought up, brought forth like a month ago or so, um, this solves for that overall, right? But again, it's it's like the, you have that, that uh, 0.01% loss, so it's not 100% lossless within this, uh, because it is, and it, it's predicting the noise within this, right? Um, but then, so very specifically, you can see that, it, but it, it, well, it shrinks it dramatically um, in this instance uh, between, um, like, uh, lower than any other codec that currently exists on the market, hands down, by about uh, a factor, like, like, uh, 400% or so, <laughs> like, uh, it, it gets it down to a ratio of 0.23, where the lowest existing codec uh, within it is L LZMA, which would get an equivalent score of a 0.8747. Uh, and then, uh, like, I don't think it's going to get 0.9, like, it's not going to get as high in in regards uh, towards the accuracy as we are, right? Like, like, the, like uh, the cosine error, like, you want this to be a perfect one that's as close as you can get, and you want this to be a perfect zero, and that's as close as you can get, right? Where, where, um, five zero zeros and then two five like uh if this like like um for most measurements of like uh or some measurements of lossless compression five zeros is enough like uh, so it depends like if, if you want to if you think that five zeros is enough for lossless then here it is uh it's 99 percent lossless overall right um but so here it is showcasing these things for you it's not rocket science it's uh, physics <laughs> and um but these things are possible right like our understanding 
understanding of physics is completely broken and backwards. And that's the bottom line that I can tell to anyone within this. And then like, especially like what is broken within that is our academic uh, teachings uh, with regards towards physics, right? I think that that like only reinforces and re-entrenches that system. There's a reason why we are in this predicament that we're in. And it's because of that entrenched system, right? Because of so many people that like, uh, I feel like it, what it is, is that uh, people, a lot of people um, devote their entire lives to um, certain areas of physics, and then they don't do and branch off into other things. And then so they become just like anything else, right? Like if I devoted my entire life to Transformers, I would be all about Transformers, right? I, like I would I reject any sort of criticism for Transformers because that's all I would devote my life to. And then so if you do that, it's commonly known that you don't do that within the corporate world, right? That's, I mean, kind of how I built up the opposite of my career, but within academia, it's kind of like a different story. And then like, um, here we are, right? I'm just pointing that out overall. Um, but so I'll leave a link to this particular notebook, Chaos Series based compression. Uh, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And if you like uh, anything related to like majorly the chaos prediction models, Zeta zeros, uh, Riemannian hypothesis, etc., uh, reach out to Ash Kelly very specifically and directly. But it's all part of uh, Moonshot Labs here. And then so if you like this type of content, again, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.